Hey guys, this is Misty Reed here of Austin Acupuncture Studio and Conceivable Coach. And I just want to give you all a quick tip for something you can do to help with your painful periods. So we're going to talk about something that you can do to prevent painful periods, but then we'll also talk about if you're already, you know, in the middle of experiencing a painful period, what can you do to help with that? Okay, so first of all, painful periods can really be the result of not having enough blood flow or adequate blood flow throughout the whole month. So that's important because if we're having periods of stress or just not having good amounts of blood flow to the uterus throughout the whole cycle, so the whole month, what happens is we'll have some blood flow and it stops and we have some more blood flow and it stops. Every time that happens, it allows the body to go ahead and set up for clotting is what happens. So you might notice with your period that you have some pieces of coagulated blood, which we would call clots. They might be more round or they might be stringy. This is a sign that maybe stress is high, there's poor circulation. Um, in my experience, it's usually both of those things when I'm working with patients. So we want to go ahead and address that. One way we can address that is by helping um, with exercise. Exercise will help increase blood flow to the pelvis all month. So that's really good to be consistent with our, our exercise, really take care of ourselves. Um, and then the other thing is helping to lower stress. So anything we can do to go ahead and help lower stress throughout our cycle will help improve the quality of our period because it's going to improve the quality of our uterine lining throughout the month, okay? So this can be as simple as doing that exercise, right? Exercise is great because it helps increase blood flow to the pelvis, but it also helps manage stress levels, right? So you're getting more bang for your buck, so that's really important. Um, but something else you can do is maybe go ahead and just really pay attention to your self-care. So maybe some daily meditation has you know, been shown in research to be helpful in lowering cortisol levels. So you can do that. It can be super simple. Just set a timer on your phone for five minutes and focus on your breathing. Every time you take, you know, you're breathing, every time you have a thought, acknowledge that's thinking. I'm going to go back to the breath. It is that repetitive nature of actually reminding yourself to stay pr present um, by reminding yourself to go back to the breath that helps lower cortisol levels. So if you have a whole bunch of thoughts while you're meditating, that is okay as long as you're bringing yourself back to the breath at some point, okay? So that can be a great way to go ahead and help um, lower stress levels. Um, so there's two big, big things we can do, right? Any sort of self-care to lower stress, such as meditation is great, as well as exercise. Now let's say you're in that part of your cycle, um, we're around cycle day 21, so we're about a week out from expecting our period. So something you can do for this week in particular is really pay attention to cutting out caffeine and sugar. Both of those things are gonna cause inflammation. And I find with my patients and my coaching clients that if we can at least cut out caffeine and sugar, um, ideally we cut it out for the whole cycle when we're trying to conceive, right? But if we're just working on getting rid of these painful periods, if we can't cut it out all cycle, at least cutting out those things and any processed sugars and caffeine for that week before your period will help immensely with going ahead and getting rid of those painful periods. So those are some really great tips that you can do. Now let's say, other scenario, you're currently, like you just started your period, you're currently having a really painful period um, and you don't know what to do besides, you know, maybe get off the heating pad, taking Advil, something like that. Um, well, what you can do is you can actually do castor oil. Um, and we uh, we do not take this internally. Do not take castor oil by, you know, by mouth. You're going to apply it. Just put a little bit on your hands. You're going to apply it to your lower abdomen and then put on some old, um, like, yoga pants or pajama pants, something that you don't mind if it gets stained, okay? Because castor oil will stain. But what you'll do is you'll put up that castor oil right on your lower abdomen, put on those old pajama pants, and then you can put a heating pad on top of it if you want, or you can just go straight to bed. Castor oil is really good at increasing blood flow in the area and also reducing inflammation. So you can imagine if that painful period is being caused by that poor circulation, allowing clots to form, and then your body's having a really hard time getting rid of that clotting or shedding that lining with your uterus that month, that castor oil is gonna help improve blood flow in the area and it's gonna help you shed that lining easier, which should help decrease the cramping or at least get your period moving a little bit quicker so that we can decrease the cramping. Um, over time, or at least to shorten the duration of it. So recap, so some things you can do to help with those painful periods is you can go ahead and make sure that you're exercising consistently. We also want to go ahead and make sure that we are using good self-care techniques like meditation to keep stress low throughout our whole cycle. The week before your period, you want to go ahead and really decrease or cut out completely caffeine and processed sugar. And then when we're on our period, we can actually go ahead and use that fifth thing, which is castor oil on the lower abdomen to help get rid of those, you know, that, that pain when we're currently experiencing 
using it. And if you need directions for that castor oil, um, it's really easy, but you can go to my blog on austinacupuncturestudio.com slash blog, and I have a blog post there about that easy way to use castor oil. You can also use it during your cycle to help improve blood flow, so go ahead and check out that blog post um, for more information on that. Um, and in the meantime, you know, keep on trying keep on trying to grow your family. Um, I know it's hard, and this week is National Infertility Awareness Week, hence the pineapple earrings. We're wearing these today at the clinic. Um, you, It's hard. You've got this. You're not alone. Keep going. All right. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.